Hello, and welcome to Let's Talk Bible. I'm Sonny Childs. Well, it's another day, another road trip. Here I sit in a parking lot in Amite, Louisiana. Good folks down here. Beautiful, beautiful day. Today's passage is from 1 John chapter 4 and verse 10. This is love, the Holy Spirit says. This is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Three little words that I'd like to point out in this passage real quickly. Number one, not. Two, but. And number three, four. First of all, it's important for us to recognize that uh, love is something God taught us. It's something he initiates within us. This is love. Not that we loved God, he says but that God loved us. So it's important for us to recognize the source of our love. It's important for us to give credit to God for being the source of that love. This might sound a little odd coming from me, given my uh, extreme dislike for Calvinism and the perversion of the doctrine. But um, it's important for us to recognize that we are depraved people. We're not totally depraved. I do not believe that's biblical, but we are depraved people. Acts chapter 17 verses 26 and 27 tells us that God created us for the very purpose that we would seek him and reach out to him. Unfortunately, we rarely do that. I don't guess we ever do that because of love. Initially, it comes only because of desperation. However, in the process of us reaching out to him, finding a savior, being hauled out of the, the depths of the ocean of sin, in that process, we learn to love Maybe I should say we relearn to love. I'll talk about that in just a second. Second point, number two, it's not the, just the word not, but it's also the word but. So when you consider that the source of our love is God himself, you also have to understand or at least appreciate, I think, what God could have done instead of. He could have wiped us out. He could have said enough. This whole experiment with humanity has gone south. I'm not going to do... What is that clicking sound? Oh, that's my crazy car. He could have said, I'm just going to give up and wipe them all out, start all over again, or maybe just, just scrap the whole idea of even having a human plan. But he didn't. But, but, he didn't. He worked within the system. And even though we fell out of love with him, if you will, didn't even know what love was because of our perversion, because of uh, the fact that we, uh, we were very much a depraved people. In spite of that, he stayed with us. Not, but, number three, four. He says that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Sins means to miss the mark. We blew it. We didn't, we didn't hit the goal, which is essentially to be like God. And, uh, and so he had to send his son, his only begotten son, John 3, 16. And uh, he becomes an atoning sacrifice. The word atoning means to make amends for. And so in place of us, he put his son on the cross. Uh, the awesome, awesome love of God. It's no wonder that he's the best one to teach us how to love. Uh, but again, back to the word for. For our sins, on behalf of us. I think the major conclusion of this passage is this. And just a few verses later, verse 16, six verses after what we're talking about this morning, he says God is love. He, he, he actually defines God as love. But remember, Genesis tells us that we were created in his image. So in the beginning, if we were created in his image, we were created in love. We had love. We knew what love was. Uh, it, it was what we were in the beginning. But somewhere along the line, because of our sin, degradation, uh, because we are depraved, we gave up love, and we lost not only the feeling of love, but we, we lost the understanding of love. And so God had to reteach us how to love. I think that's what this passage is talking about. And when you consider that, I don't know if it does to you what it does to me, but it breaks my heart that I could go to such a depth to forget how to love God, and yet I can be lifted to such a height as to recognize that he would reteach me. That's the journey of life. God bless you, and remember, till next time, be there. Matthew 16, 26. We are the Sonny Childs and Family Ministries, serving as missionaries to this great nation. Please pray for us and consider adding us to your missions giving.